What's up, guys? You know, it's been a few weeks since I've been in touch with you. Hope you all have been well. Really hasn't been much I want to talk about, but uh, I definitely want to comment on the Jake Paul Tommy Fury fight. Uh, I feel it was a robbery. Uh, I feel Jake Paul won that fight. Um, I scored it 76 74. I had the fight even going into the last round. And of course, Jake got a knockdown in the last round, which was a 10 8 round. All right. So he got a two point victory on my card. Now, in the round where uh, Tommy Fury was inducted to the point, uh, that was 10 9 on my card, which I posted on the community page because uh, I was going to score that round of 10 10. I thought it was the only even round I had in the fight was that round. All right. So that turned out to be a 10 9 for Jake. But, uh, you know, what was it, 76, 73 or something like that, the official judges had two of them did, you know, for Tommy Fury, I disagree with that completely. Uh, the American judge only had it by one point for Jake. He had the correct uh, card, in my opinion, because he had uh, a close card. You know, it, even if, you know, if it would have been one point for Fury in favor of Fury, that would have been, you know, a, a bit more understandable. I wouldn't have agreed, but... You know, three points for Tommy Fury. It felt like the boxing world, including those judges, like they wanted to uh, put the screws to uh, Jake. You know, I've been seeing, uh, you know, a lot of the, some of the reaction. Uh, people are rejoicing and happy. You know, I saw Carl Frost say something like he was obliterated and embarrassed or, or dominated or something like that. And I'm like, what? No, he was not. You know, uh, he was the only one that got a knockdown in the fight. And it was a close fight. So, um, you know, uh, people are, are happy that, that Jake lost. Uh, she, Jake has been good for boxing, man. Uh, hell, him and the, and the women are doing more than all these so-called uh, top fighters in the sport, man, not giving us the big fights. You know, this guy bringing attention and uh, money to the sport, putting, uh, bringing us big events, hell, memorable knockouts. So, uh, you know, I'm not a, a you know, a... Uh, a uh, Jake Paul fanboy or whatever, but uh, at the same time, I, I can appreciate and I like what the guy has done for boxing, man, uh, despite what the haters are saying. Uh, and let's not forget, as a promoter, what he has done for Amanda Serrano, you know, just her alone, all right? So, um, you know, uh, I, I don't know why people are cheering and wanting the demise of Jake Paul well, because he was a, a YouTuber turned boxer because he was winning fights and making money. Uh, I, I don't get the reason they hate the guy for that shit. Uh, the guys worked hard, and uh, in my opinion, not only did he win the fight, but in a way, it, it is a, a win for him overall because you know Tommy Fury, you know, comes from from his boxing family. He's supposedly been boxing all his life and all this and that, and uh, a guy with just a, a handful of years of experience was in a competitive fight with him, man. You know, uh, Tommy Fury was bragging about how he was going to knock out Jake in four rounds and all that. And I know Jake was saying it too, but in my opinion, the pressure was more on Fury to uh, to win uh, and win by a, a dominant fashion. And uh, he didn't. You know, that, that, that was not a, a wide fight, you know, not, not in my eyes. Uh, so, you know, I, I thought Jake won the fight. Uh... You know, I'm, I know they will have the rematch, and it will be even bigger. And uh, I can't wait to see it, you know. You know, and uh, hey, salute to Jake, man, because hey, we are getting big events from him, unlike the likes of, you know, an Errol Spence and, uh, you know, guys like this, man, who, who held out on uh, fights uh, over the years. So really, that's all I had to say about it. Some quick comments from me. Uh, it was a close competitive fight. I don't see Tom Fury winning that fight wide. I thought Jake won. Uh, yes, uh, Jake is proven to uh, not be great defensively. He was getting hit flush to the head numerous times in the fight. But Tommy Fury was also very much so. The guy couldn't stop the jab, all right? Uh, unfortunately, Jake did not land the, the right as, as much as uh, you know I, I wished he would have. But, uh, yeah, but both guys uh, are basically on equal – playing field to me you know as far as the ability you know <clears throat> they, they, they match up well together so and uh I, I think that's a win for jake considering he just started boxing a few years ago well this guy is part of a, a boxing family you know so 
that's it, guys. Let me know what you thought about it. And uh, we'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.